what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy L. I'm back with another reaction. And what do we have here? Another fake cop getting exposed, right? So this one here is fake cop makes a traffic stop. Now, bro, he has the audacity to make a traffic stop, right? Gets arrested by a real cop. Complete footage. Complete footage. So you know I'm here for it, bro. Let's break it down. All right, we're gonna break this footage down. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, join the fam, all that good stuff. Moment of silence for these haters. That's enough. Now run the likes up, baby. Make sure y'all continue to destroy and kill the like button, man. Leave comments. Here we go. Important information at the bottom says already seen the footage of Brendan arrest and questioning to skip those scenes and only see new footage start watching at 2225 so no I haven't seen any of the footage so we're gonna watch the whole thing 46 minutes bro let's go Talk to you for a minute. Bro, did he just literally catch him in the act of doing it? Yo. Nah. This is all I got. I mean, like I said, I'm under, I'm under equipped. I was just heading over there to the courthouse. It's a courthouse for what? To get my crap. Okay. I know. It makes no sense. I caught him going 120 down I-40. Okay. Why well, do you have lights on this vehicle? Personal. I, I know. Do you have an ID with you at all? No, I keep it on my uniform. Okay. What's your name? Uh, Brendan Wazinski. Brandon? Yes, sir. How do you spell that? B R E N D E N. And your last name? W Y S Y N S K I. Hold on. W I W Y? Yes, sir. S Y N S K I. So, Wazinski? Wazinski? How do you spell it? Yes, sir. What's your date of birth now? Bro, this kid looks like a. Like a teenager. Someone's an unpity. Oh, yeah. Road and Fourth. Can you start me a unit and see if there is a BCSO supervisor that can come to our Whoa, whoa, did he just let the car go? Units. I think he just let the car go. Just hang tight, man. I'm not, I'm not here yet. 
It's, and I'm not here to mess with you, man. It's just the thing is, yeah, he was beating, dude. You could have called it in. And because if you get into shooting, you're just right. Shooting. All right, man. I, I understand. Uh, it, it, this, for starters, I know this looks really bad. Right. This looks really bad. Uh, this screams whacker. Right. How long have you been on? About three years. Okay. I've been on for like 13 years. All right, so. I'm not saying I'm perfect, and I'm not saying that I've never done anything to, to uh, you know, against protocol, but you need to be a little bit more careful, all right? Yes, so, just do me a favor, hang tight for a second, okay? Yes, sir. And we're going to, uh, and that's it, all right? Once, we, once we're done here, uh, we're done, all right? Just give me a bit, all right? Thanks. He tried to say a lot without saying much. It's not good. Is that? There we go. There we go. Somebody out here, man. Do me a favor. I'm not gonna handcuff you, but I'm gonna have you sit in back in back of my car, all right? All right. Do you have anything on you, man? Any weapons or anything? Okay. Um, that's fine. Just have a seat, all right? All right. Try to get get everything cleared up, man. Um, just have a seat. That's just crazy though, but it makes sense what the cop said, man. You over here pulling somebody over for doing a buck 20, pulling them over. Whatever, when you walked up to the window, they just started airing out everything. What you got? To, you ain't got no gun. You ain't got nothing to try to combat that, bro. You was dead. says fake cop but 
I'm thinking, you know what I mean? With the story he gave, it was kind of somewhat legit. He just ain't have no business doing it the way he did it, bro. But he completely... <laughs> That's insane, fam. He gave a whole... Like, he had me fooled. He had me fooled. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I thought he... You know what I mean? He might have made a bad mistake. Might just be suspended from the force. Not supposed to be doing it or something like that. Fake cop. Understand? Maybe I should have took the title literally like it said, bro. But just that fast, he got over on me. <laughs> he got the cop, too. So y'all can't knock me too bad. He got the cop, too. You don't need the supervisor now. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Uh, I was heading northbound on 4th Street. I see this unit 54 or 54 on the car. I'm like, okay. You know, it's, a, it's this car that's right here. And the guy was wearing jeans, no gun belts, no nothing, a t shirt. And I'm just wearing like an Air Force hat. So like, that's strange. So I flip around, and his plates come back to his civilian because he come back to, you know, escape or anything. So I stop. I talk to him for a minute, and he's like, I asked him, who do you work for? I'm like, oh, I work for SL. I'm like, yeah, it's really good. Oh, you've been out for three years? Oh, okay. So you're kind of real quick to, you know, to be 54 and you he's got a lot. Told y'all he looked like a teenager. He told he was born in '94. He was like, nah, he's born in like 2001 or something like that or something like. <laughs> Like, yes, bro, he's like 18, 19 years old because this was done in 2019. So, yeah, he's like 18 years old. I double check with MVD as, as a woman from back to 2001. I have sent him, sent him back in my car because that's kind of weird to me. And right now, when I was getting out, he was like, hey, don't talk to me. I was like, no, I'm not a cop. I just. This badge on him, and he has lights and everything. I'm 54 apart because he said he was going like 110 on the interstate. So he's not a BCSO employee at all? No. But we're going to have BCSO come out anyways, just because he's impersonating a BCSO and he got look like a BCSO badge. Do you have him detained now? Yeah, he's in the back of my car. Okay. Just because, like, I don't know who you are. You don't have anything other than a badge. You don't even have an idea. So that's where we're at. Okay. I haven't been on his rights or anything. He just told me that statement. I had his free will. So. Yeah, it was just really weird. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yo, the sergeant like, so why am I here now? <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, this is the other cop's point of view. That sound, man. That sound of somebody getting handcuffed always just like, ah, it does something to you, bro. That sound, that handcuff sound, that's when you know it's real. Now he's saying he took it from his pops. How, how do you spell Wazinski? Did you? W-Y-S-Y-N-S-K-I. Okay, never mind. You got it right. You got it right? Everyone gets it wrong. A decision these gentlemen make if you'll hang yeah, give us a little bit, all right? A decision? What decision? Fam, I hear what decision? <laughs> I hope they mean they're gonna make a decision whether or not they're gonna let you use the phone, not whether or not you're gonna be arrested, bro. You just what are you serious? Oh, he crying. I'll give you, um, we'll get, when we get to the substation, I'll give you, um, we'll give you a call. Okay? He crying. You know what? I wonder if he really d even has a wife. 18 years old. It's possible, but I don't trust him. Um, at this time, 
if you wish to talk to me, you can stop talking to me at any time. Uh, would you like to talk to me about what happened tonight? Yeah, I'm here as well. I'll own it. I'll own it. Okay, so... I respect that. I respect that, bro. I, I respect that. He like, I'm going to own it. You know what I'm saying? That's grown man stuff right there. Respect. Let's start from the beginning. So, what happened tonight? Just tell me from the beginning what happened when, before I approached you. Um, I was going to work. Cut this guy flying down the highway at 120. Uh -huh. Where Where do you work at? I work at Albuquerque Courtesy and Parking. Courtesy and Parking? Mm -hmm. Is that for the city or who's that for? It's a security company. Okay. And say that again. Mm -hmm. Albuquerque. Courtesy and Parking. That makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. Cause a lot of security guards feel like they're real they're cops. You know what I'm saying? Instead of security guards. So it sometimes it goes to their heads. How do you know that how fast the other car was going? Uh trails behind them. Okay. And then what happened when you saw him going that fast? Was it on the freeway, on the street? Freeway. Okay, then what happened? Five car lights pulled him over. Okay. And then that's, the lights about, in, that's about the time that you got there. Okay. The lights, were they in your car or personal car or company car? My car. Your personal car? Yes. Okay. Um, who installed the lights in your car? I did. You did? Okay, and then... Wow. When I peeked into your car, I also saw that you had some sort of radio. Is that your bed yours too? Okay. Um, okay. And then when I made contact with you, I noticed you had a badge. Who? Where'd you get that badge from? Uh, it belongs to my dad. It belongs to your dad? When, when was well, it? Well, it did. It did? Is he... Is he still around, or did he pass away? Well, he was killed. Oh, he was killed, okay. When was he killed? About five, six years ago. Okay. When did he leave the department? He didn't leave. He was killed by the duty. Oh, was he? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. Um, Dang. Okay. And he said he, he used to work for BCSO? Burning with county sheriffs. Okay. And when I approached you, why did you identify yourself as a as a deputy or a part of BCSL? I freaked out. Okay. Um, okay, because I asked you your date of birth. Bro, are y'all seeing what was flashed on the screen right now? So somebody went back and did the due diligence of looking up to see, to verify the story he just gave, and they couldn't find the name. Now, maybe his pops has a different name, last name, so that could be the case. I hope that's the case. I hope he didn't just lie and say his pops was killed in the line of duty, and he wasn't, bro. That's a different type of a liar right there, fam. If you did that, bro, I'm, <laughs> I might have been able to forgive this whole incident because, you know what I mean? People just, you, you, you do some dumb stuff in life, man. We all have. So I ain't really judging you on that, man. But on your, you put your pops out like that, bro. I can't rock with you. But then you initially gave right. something in 1994. Right. right. Okay. Um, okay. What did the, the, the driver say to you? Uh, he said he was something about his sister in the hospital and then he was trying to get there i told him it's not worth killing someone over okay how old was the guy how do you look how old was he? uh based off of his license he was about 60. and I didn't, I didn't do the math in my head okay do you remember his name at all okay all right um Do you have any weapons in your vehicle? Um, there's a handgun in a locked case under the seat. Okay. Um, is 
Is there anything inside the vehicle that we should know about? Uh, the glove box, I think I have a set of handcuffs and some extra ammunition for the handgun. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, for now, that'll conclude our interview. Uh, more than likely, uh, somebody else will give you a phone call later on and just try to go a little bit more in depth, okay? Huh? Huh? Somebody give you a phone call. This way. Nah, man, your car got towed. Yeah, I know. It's a little tough about that. Yeah. You guys at least got my stuff out of there, right? What do you mean? My phone and stuff. So, since it's being seized for evidence, everything stays in there. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Can't be pretending to be a cop. Yeah, I know. I'm stupid. <laughs> Lesson learned, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Cool. Nah, I think he got one more urge left in him. I, I, I truly do, bro. <laughs> Fam done lied about too much already to think this is the last stop. <laughs> no. A cop hating the seatbelts? Wow. <laughs> Do uh -huh. you really have a wife? To, um, to, the um, jail, they allow one phone the jail, call and you can do it. They allow one phone call and you can do it. Aw, oh, man, you don't? Aw, oh, man, you don't? She's your wife and you don't know her number? She's your wife and you don't know her number? Well, it's because she changed it, like, so well, it's because different she fucking eyes. So I just got tired of remembering it. I just got tired of remembering it. Be honest, I don't know mine's number either, so I can't knock the kid for that. Because <laughs> I was literally sitting there trying to go through my mind, like, what, what is her number? Um, it's, uh, I couldn't think of it. <laughs> My question would be, uh -huh. well, what job does she think you have? <laughs> you talking about because she because he doesn't have a safe job. What does she think you do? Have you been telling her the truth? Does she think you're a cop or a security guard? What is what is it? Does she get scared? She wants. Does she get scared? Gotcha. Gotcha. You should know how this works. You're a cop, right? <laughs>
Make a great point. Scary stuff. You really put your life at Scary risk there. Scary stuff. You really put your life at risk there. All right. They are riding in silence. Is this just a ride? y'all so that's pretty much the end of the video man i think the rest of this is pretty much just taxi cab confessions at this point um because it goes on right here we at 30 minutes but it's dark i tried to look to see when they would get to where they were going i'm at 41 minutes now and they're still not there yet so i'm gonna skip ahead if you want to choose i'm gonna put the original link in the description but i'm gonna skip ahead to see if we got any more juicy stuff at the end here i'm gonna jump to 43 minutes I'll see
y'all want to go back and see what they talked about that's cool y'all can you know I me mean, have y'all a little session but that was just they, they just riding So, <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't really trust the dude, man. He lied about a lot. Too much for me to trust him. And I feel like he was asking her. Uh, he was going to another video, but I feel like they was at, he was asking her to. Um, let me get off of that. Let me go back. Hold on, y'all. But yeah, I feel like he was asking her all them questions in the back seat because he wanted to know how the process goes just in case he pulls somebody else over. He could seem more confident and seem more like the real thing when he explained what could possibly happen to somebody after he gives them a fake ticket from a fake cop. You know what I mean? So this was crazy, bro. <laughs> this was crazy. But I think he's just a kid. You know what I mean? He may be married 18 years old around, give or take, if he gave the right uh, birthday. Or they, he didn't give the right birthday. They figured out his birthday. So I think adding it up kind of pushed him to like 18, maybe almost 19. So still young, made a dumb mistake. Cool. Don't trust him. He's a liar. Definitely a pathological liar. But um, you, can't not, you can't hold it against him too long, man. He, made, he, he, did, he did what young ones do, man. We've all done something dumb like that. So, But pretty funny, just to say the least. You know, his response is funny. When the cop opened the door, he was like, all right, I'm going to just be straight with y'all. Not a cop, okay? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> but y'all get at me in the comment section, man. Let me know what you think. And uh, stick around and stay tuned to the next reaction of my piece. Y'all stay solid. Hey.